We are back with game 2 between Blunder and Stolen for Smog 2's finals, this time Aura's OU. A good lead matchup for Blanda. Medigo is a really big threat with that Magnezone in the back. If the Skarmory is not Churchill, this is going to be hard for Solwind. Um, Solwind is pretty much forced to double out here and do either Gastron or Heatran because the Magnezone can come out here from Blunder's side. If he gets up a spike, that pretty much tells us that he's Shed Shell, but yeah, he doubles out, making me think that he's not Shed Shell. Now, the Clefable is really obvious on the Gastron. Solwan doubles into Heatran, predicting that. Now, Solwan can get up the rocks. Uh, Blanda is most likely going to switch into Garchomp or Kelio. I think Blanda is going to get his rocks up now. Uh, Solwan can go to Clefable here, most likely. I think Clef is going to come out. Uh, that's a Megalady on Solvent's side and probably a Scarfta. These type of teams, you see them sometimes in Auras. Scarfta can trap the Defoggers like Megalady and the Spinner Stami. And then you can Hazard stack. But in this matchup, this is not going to work because um, he cannot really stack Hazards with his Skarmory because of that Magnezone on the other side. This Clefable is most likely a common variant since he has rocks on the Heatran. So I think we're just going to see a Moonblast thrown up. Um, Blunder goes into Magnezone instead of Metagross in case this Clefable has T-Wave. And now he pivots out, um, since he got that special attack drop, and if the Magnezone is Scarf, Flash Cannon would not have done much to the Clef, especially since Clef sometimes runs uh, Spadef in Auras. And yeah, this time he just then headbutts, knowing um, Solon doesn't want to go into Skarm, and yeah, Gastron gets blown away, and he doubles, oof, he doubles into Magnezone, anticipating the Skarmory, and it's not Shedshill, and Blunder traps it, so Blunder playing this really well, Blunder's like, uh, Solon can recover here with the Gastron, Blunder can switch out into... Goes into Kaldio, which uh, he's either going to click Specs, Secret Sword, or Specs, HP Grass. So, someone should go into his Clefable here. Blunder's playing this well. He's like, ah, you destroyed me game one. Nah, I've had enough. I'm going to destroy you in game two. He stays in and sacks the Gastro onto HP Grass. But Blunder went hard into Kaldio, which was like, kind of obvious to me that he would have HP Grass. And that's not uncommon. It hits like all the grasses, like Jealous and stuff. And yeah, the main reason why you want HP Grass is for Gastro, because it's four times effective. And yeah, I think Thorin should have gone to Clefable there because Thorin probably went for Recover just to see what Blunder locks himself into and he could have lived the Secret Sword. But Blunder was never going for a water move there, so I think Clef would have been a fine play for Thorin and I'm not sure why he risked that. And yeah, this is looking pretty over at this point. Um, yeah, Blunder doesn't want to risk taking a Moonblast, I assume. And yeah, Thorin also doesn't want to take a pump from the from the Specs Kelly, so they both switch out. This Ladi... Could be Bolt Beam T Wave or it could be Common Stored Power Reflect type. So I, I assume Blunder's just gonna vault out here into his. maybe his Clef or Metagross. Like if you stay in with the Magnezone and you click Flash Cannon, the Ladi is a CM variant, then you're in a bad position. So I assume you're just gonna vault out with the Magnezone. So we know that the Kaldio specs, I mean, that's pretty obvious, and we know also that Blunder likes that set, and it was obvious from because it okoed the Gastron. So I assume it's a. Scarf Lari and the Scarf Magnezone for speed control, then probably, I don't know if it's revealed yet, but I think that Chomp is Tank Chomp. So uh, he wins the speed tie there, gets the Reflector up, so he's a CM Reflector type recover stored power variant, so he's gonna recover up here. Uh, Blunder goes to Guard Chomp, he's most likely gonna Dragon Tail out the Mega Lari here. So Sobin should just attack and get some damage off, exactly, stored power. Chomp is on a timer. So what does he get? He gets Heatran, so this forces Sobin to switch out into Clefable. Let's see if Blunder wants to break that. And pull a switch out into like Metagross. He goes Kelio. So I guess we're gonna just see. Yeah, Blana just gets damage off. That does a lot. Moonblast doesn't even do that much to Kelio. I mean, it does 68. But Kelio beats this Clef 1v1 because it specs Kelio. This Clef is actually probably Bolt Clef because um, to Spadef Clef, Scald only does like 48 to 50 ish. So this Clef is more Fist Dev orientated. Uh, I mean, it makes some sense because he has a Reflect Type Lari that can deal with Kelio, and Reflect Type can prevent getting trapped by Tita's Pursuit, so I get it why his Clef is more Fist Def. And he also has a Gastron, but he definitely should have scouted early on the Gastron um, by going either Clef or Lari. Now, I think Blunder can just click Scald again here, because Sobin either has to pick a Sack here, or even if he goes hard Lari, Sobin risks getting burned. So Blunder's in a really good position here. And. Yeah, I don't think Solon wants to go hard Lari. Like, Solon can win with Lari, potentially. He might have to uh, win a speed tap versus the Metagross to get the Reflect type up. Uh, that way he can resist Meteor Mash. But if that's a Scarf Lari on Blunder's side, he can also um, check the check the Lari with that. Because I'm pretty sure Solon needs multiple c multiple CM boots to take a Draco from Blunder's Lari. And yeah, the Chomp is the Rocker on Blunder's side, so the Clef is definitely going to be CM. Uh, it's most likely CM Ice Beam Clef, and the last move could be um, Moonblast, or it could be Ice. Uh, it could be Moonblast, or it could be T Bolt, something like that on Blunder's Clef. 
Uh, he doesn't need Flamethrower Clef because he has a Magnezone to trap Scizor. He has a Spec Scalio that also does a lot to Scizor, and he has a Tank Chomp, so he has multiple answers. Slash checks for Scizor, so I'm pretty sure Clef is not gonna have Flamethrower. So either CM Bolt Beam or CM um, Ice Beam Moonblast, something like that. So Sowen's taking his time here. Um, so he does just sack off the Clef now, either Ladi or Tita come out, gonna come out here. Because uh, it's pretty obvious that the Tita is Scarf. So Tita comes out. Uh, Blunder can just sack the Kelly here to either Crunch or Stone Edge. I think he's just gonna Crunch because you don't want to risk missing. So yeah, he sacks the Tank Jump. Okay, makes the better. Yeah, Tank Jump was the good sack because you get extra Rocky Helmet chip. I thought he might want to stay in just in case um, the Tita goes for Pursuit. But to be fair, it doesn't really matter. Now he knows that the Tita is locked into Crunch. And I think we're gonna see a CM from the Clef here. I don't know why Stolen stayed in there. He should have just gone hard into Heatran. So now he has to go hard into Heatran. Uh, Blunder can see him again here. Oh, he Ice Beam. So he predicted him to go hard into Mega Ladi there. Because if the Ladi reflects types, it's neutral. Um, like, it can it can resist or uh, be neutral to Ice Beam and Moonblast and all these moves. And it can resist t bolt basically. So um, this club probably beats the Heatran 1v1 because it's probably Spadef or Bulky Trend with Lava Plume. Torn Toxic. I don't know what the last move would be. Well, it was it was Rocks. Yeah, it was Rocks. Pretty sure it was Rock. Uh, Rock's Lava Plume Torn Toxic is pretty common on Aura. So Clef beats Tren when we won. Now he has to go Ladi and see him up. But Blunder... This Ladi cannot really like threaten anything. So yeah, exactly. He goes hard into Ladi and this is most likely Choice Scarf. And Blunder can just click Draco here. So Solent might want to sack the Tita. No, he just stays in and sacks Ladi. So yeah, Blunder wins this game. Maybe he should have sacked the Tita there to then come back in and calm mine up. If he can live in, because I think he could have maybe lived a minus to Draco at neutral. So we're gonna get a game three, which is gonna be Sunim and OU, and uh, it's gonna be interesting. Stay tuned for that. Smash that like button, and also let me know in the comments if you wanna see any other Smog 2 series. Uh, I recorded pretty much every single set, like every game that brought Blunder to finals, every game that brought Solvent to finals, and all the other sets as well. So that's just let me know if you wanna see any others, and stay tuned for game three in a bit. And really well played by Blunder, props to him. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying these games. They're playing kind of fast, so it's a bit hard for me to keep up. But still, really fun games. Cannot wait to see game 3. Hopefully not stall, or hopefully no too long games. But yeah, gonna be hype.